got the camera. <laughs> Headed to the studio for the first episode of Dork Life. Sitting here on a Segway. So I'm on my way to the studio. Daniel left ahead of me already on his little Segway. Look who we found. <laughs> And it's pretty windy here in West Texas. Boxes flying all over the place. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. Hey, this is Dork Life. He's I'm the D. And she's the K. And it's about our life. Not that we're anything special or anything, but there are some interesting things that we're gonna do. Karen's Tech Time. Reviews from delivery, delivery services with products such as food and... Food. <laughs> we're not gonna do I think we're just doing food. No, I think we're gonna like order things from like Amazon. Oh, kinda like unboxing, but not unboxing. Yeah, it's delivery. So. Delivery to the dorks. So and then what else are we gonna have? We're gonna talk about some of the things that we do. So maybe some behind the scenes. Things that we have coming up, things that we've done. Let's get some food. Um what do you want to eat? I think that we should get some taco casa. So we just got done ordering it and it looks like it's in the received stage. The app on the phone was okay. It was okay to use, but it didn't have my Casa Delights that I really wanted. Probably because it's a second party app instead of like an in-house type app. Oh, right. Yeah. It's probably because it was favored. They don't have the Casa Delights on there, so. Right, so they probably, that's probably the reason why they don't have some of those things. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna be ordering outside of the store's app, then it's probably going to be limited to some items. That's yeah. what it seems like it's going to be. So they're going to come to the studio here and ding dong us and we're not supposed to look at the duty. Ding dong us? <laughs> yeah, I can ding dong you. I'm, uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not going to get ding dong. <laughs> what does that even mean? I <laughs> uh, no. If you guys know what ding dong means, write it in the comments below. I love this camera. It's the Canon M6 Mark II. So one of the things I love about this camera is that we have this Viltrox mount on it. It's an EF mount, so that way you can get almost full frame. So one of the cool things about this is this little, like you can touch screen, right? So you can touch on the ISO if you want and you can bring it way down, which is not good. Or you can bring it up way high, but you wanna go too high because then that'll introduce too much noise. I get yelled at by Daniel if I do that. Maybe a little bit lower. You can hit the return button. I don't know if it's a return button, but it's like a little arrow. It looks like a return button. And then if you want to mess with like, you know, the f-stop and stuff like that, you can. We're not going to do any of that right now. So, and the other really cool thing is that it has this tracking, so it'll follow. Look, it's following Daniel back and forth. But I'm going to put it on me. So, I'm winning now. Want to see the really cool thing where it does the eye detection? It does have eye detection, huh? The little square. It's on my eye? It's on your eye. It's not going between the two of them, but it's on your eye. I think it's the TV. No, it just, it just does one eye. Oh, I thought it did two. One of the best things about this camera, which is why we really wanted it, is because with this little Atomos Ninja kickboxing thing, whatever you want to call it. Five. What is it? Atomos Ninja 5. Atomos Ninja 5, whatever. You add an HDMI cord to it, and it does this like two bit for something something, 10 bit. <laughs> 10 bit, yes. <laughs> what is it, two bit? From. Is it a movie? The Outsiders. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's who Emilio Estevez was two bit. Okay. All right, so it does two So bit. it's 10 bit 244 or 422? 422. 422. 422. 10 a, bit 422. It's just a, which is, a yes. better. It's a better color space, so you can do a lot more push and pull with uh, color grading. So it's more for like professional type uh, videographers. Right. Which, what's really funny is that a lot of YouTubers, which we love to watch, they've talked about this camera because it's a mirrorless camera and it's really compact and it's like, it's the, really light. It's yeah. like the ship of, you know, the flagship camera. That <laughs> yes, the flagship. Because it's mirrorless. And it's, it's the APS, really, yeah, yeah. APS-C flagship for Canon. Yeah. yeah. What's really cool is that it's not 
on uh, the spec sheet that it doesn't say that it does 10-bit 422 and 4K. However, it does say it does 8-bit 422 and 1080. So I called Canon just to verify this, um, and they said that it's true. They did say it is 10-bit uh, 422, and I saw this on a web page by Canon by a guy named Rudy... Winston? Winston? Rudy Winston. I think he's the head engineer over at <clears throat> Canon. That's pretty phenomenal, especially coming from a crop sensor camera from Canon. So that's that's pretty big, and that is probably the only reason why we purchase this camera. Mm -hmm. Besides, Karen loves... I love Canon. <clears throat> she loves the ease of use yeah. of how to operate this camera. It's just, it's very easy, it's very simple. Uh, the autofocus is great on it. Yeah, um, the autofocus is really easy. Yeah. I start, well, I think it's too because I started out on a Canon and it was super easy. It was the 70D. Mm -hmm. 70D. 70D that right. I started out on. And it was super easy to use a touchscreen. But I, the one thing I that if I had to say I didn't really care for this is that I like the flip out screen. The, oh, the yeah. The screen that flips over and then I can punch in. Whereas this one goes up and down. Yeah, for really like vlogging, I guess for vlogging purposes, they make this so you could just flip up and you're able yeah. to. Yeah, but see, it'd be nice <coughs> if it flipped over and then if you wanted to turn it out. Yeah, it's could. more articulating for whatever mm -hmm. you want it to do. Right. right. Yeah, I agree. But it's nice because like I can, if I want to focus on something and then I can set it to where I could just take that picture. So once I get it in focus, I can yeah. tap it and take the picture. It's called... Touch, touch shutter, shutter. Enable. Yeah, so you can just tap on me, <clears throat> focus, and then it takes a picture. That's what she loves about See? it. See? That's what it did. Pretty nice little camera. For the price, I believe it's eight and 800 bucks. A little over 800 I think. So it was really inexpensive, and it does all this really cool stuff. Let's check out this 10-bit 422 and see what it does. All right, let's go. Are, am I going to film or are you going to film? No, you're going to... I thought you were going to do your... All right, so we're over here at a carnival. We're going to film 10-bit 422. Uh, we were able to download C-Log from D-LUTs. Uh, you guys check on the description below where you can download that to any of your Canon camera. Uh, let's go ahead and check all this out. Right, guys we're back here in a car uh for some reason when i plugged the road video mic up to the atomos there's like a clicking noise like click 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 if anybody knows why that is you guys go ahead and comment below and tell me what i can fix about that right now it's connected to directly to the m6 mark ii and you guys tell me if that's any better favor is pulling up to the office so we need to rush over there and get our food real quick let's go think about that footage we just took it's pretty impressive hey if you like it drop a comment and a like and let us know what you think what'd you get again i got myself a bean burrito and some casa delights i mean everything looks really good i think we should pass out some napkins though okay i've heard and i know that their sweet tea is probably really one of the best sweet teas i've ever had you want i'll to try it taste first Hmm. It is pretty good. It's not very cold, really? but it's good. <laughs> so you go like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> wow. It threw me off that it wasn't cold, right? It's not cold. I think it's because it sat there for a minute. Yeah, there's not a lot of ice in it. It's probably a fresh tea then. Right. Yeah, it's probably it hot. It is fresh because it fresh was warm. Fresh tea. I'm going to set this over here, okay? So I got a bean burrito spicy with onions. I don't like anything spicy, a, um, so mine is mild. <laughs> and a chili burger with no cheese. Hopefully they didn't put cheese on there. But as far as packaging. <laughs> <laughs> We're not food inspectors. We are not food inspectors. However, I think that they kept the food on nice and tight. So it kept the food warm. Mm -hmm. it I did. like that. That I like really good. Um, to the sandwich, which burrito is which? Yeah, I'm guessing mine's the yellow one. Yeah, this is mine because I have the red, the mild My sauce. sauce. Mm -hmm. Mine looks pretty good. Are we eating it on? I don't know. I'm going to show everyone what mine looks like. 
Yours looks good. So here goes. The bean burrito. Bean burrito spicy. I think this burrito is wrapped very well. I don't like the end part of this. I try and stay away from carbs. So I put that off to the side. <clears throat> but this looks good. I'm hungry. I know they put a lot of cheese in them all the time. The weight seems pretty good on it. There's a lot of cheese in there. So if you guys like a lot of cheese, Taco oh. Casa puts extra cheese on there. Hi, Al. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 First good. bite, I could mm. taste onions. I could taste the sauce, the beans. Why? Why do I have a hole? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Oh yeah, it doesn't seem very warm. Mm -mm. And I think that's probably because when we do go to Taco Casa, which we are regulars there because we love our bean burritos, mm -hmm. we get them right from there. We've never had it delivered. That was a first. Right, that was a first. But I don't mind because I like a cold bean burrito, to be honest. Are you moving on to your chili burger? That looks yeah. messy. Let's take a look at this chili burger. Mm-hmm. So, this is how it is mm. packaged. Oh, and they do have cheese on it. Did I say no cheese? Uh, no, but... I put onions, no cheese. I like my chili burgers with a little bit of hot sauce. Uh, their hot sauce is packaged. I, I guess this is more like taco sauce. I, I consider taco sauce kind of like a... Package saucing. <clears throat> I like salsa more on my burrito, my burgers than I do uh, hot sauce. Mm. It just has better flavor to it, I uh -huh. guess. But <clears throat> I do. I like these taco burgers. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. I just don't like a lot of cheese. I there mean, was a lot of cheese on there. It didn't ask if I wanted cheese, and I know it doesn't come with cheese. Mm -hmm. But they did put cheese on there. I'm not going to complain. I like mm. my bean burrito. How is it with the it's, cheese? It is really good. Can I have a bite? There's hot sauce with on the it. Oh, never mind. I don't do hot sauce. I will try one of the Casa Delights, though. So These I'll, are messy. If I'm not mistaken, These are really good. I think that is like a die cut flour. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they either cut it or it comes pre cut. Mm. They fry it and then they put like some cinnamon sugar. They mm -hmm. probably put it like in a bag or something. Mm. Shake it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it crunchy or is it mm. kind of soft? Kind of both. Is it? Mm -hmm. What do you think of Taco Casa? Because I'm sure some of you already go. So thanks for joining us for Dorks Delivery or Delivery to the Dorks. I don't know what you want to call it. All right, guys. I'm full. So I'm we're going to go ahead and end this video. But... Before we end this video, you guys tell us what you think about that 10-bit 422 on that Atomos. And uh, what you guys like about the food that we had, uh, the Taco Casa? Would you guys want to order from them? Was it appealing to you guys? <laughs> it was good to me. Was it good to you? <laughs> My bean burrito is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm glad you didn't get onions, though. <sighs> All right, so what's going to happen uh, next time? For the shows coming up, we're going to have some local artists on the show. Um, we're going to talk about a music video we have. We're also going to include some business owners on the show. Um, and we'll probably have more food reviews because they're just so much fun to do. And we love our little ding-dong doorbell, so. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the ding-dong. <laughs> what the heck? It's a ding-dong. So, right? So we'll catch you next time.